For the Chain of Responsibility StarCraft demo, we're going to talk about medevacs. Now, these three ships over here, uh, their primary purpose is to heal these injured Marines over here. So how are we going to injure them? We're going to use this tank to shoot them. So when we talked about the Chain of Responsibility in the previous videos, we showed how, or talked about how one, chain, or one link in the chain has a single responsibility. So, for example, uh, once these Marines get hurt, one medevac has that one task of healing a Marine, and he's busy healing that Marine until that Marine is completely healed. Now, since another Marine can get hurt at the same time, and that this one will be busy, the next medevac will actually have to go and help the other Marine and if he's busy, then the next medevac will have to go and help the third marine. So let's give this a test run here. So if I tell him to attack, so they'll keep on going, heal, then move on to the next one, move on to the next one, move on to the next one. Um, and slowly they'll kind of work through the process of healing all of the marines until they're all healed, and then they'll be done with the process. So just one more time real quick, hurt the Marines, they come in to heal one at a time, let's uh, stop him from shooting, and they come in to heal and he's busy so the next one has to go, he's busy so the next one has to go, and so they form this nice little chain. Now if you're very observant, uh, you'll probably say this is based more on proximity than it is based on an actual chain. Uh, a, re a relationship of the Marines and the medevacs in a chain. It's, it's more just, uh, you know, how close the Marine is to the medevac. But in the actual code example, it will be based more on a chain. So let's move on to the code. So my example, while not nearly as impressive as the graphics of StarCraft, does have a neat little uh, visual appeal to it. So after this runs, you can see that I have this chain of circles, uh, Medivax, that's going to go in and heal these red squares, which can be Marines. Um, and you can see that once a circle is done healing, you'll move on to the next hurt Marine. So you can see these will slowly uh, find the next hurt one and move on as soon as it's done with that process of healing one. I actually think there's something uh, something really cool about watching order take care of chaos or whatever you want to say this represents. Anyway, uh, so to show you how this actually works, it's going to be something you've seen quite you know at least twice now if you've watched the previous two videos, um, and we'll dive into that right now. So you can see that our base healer chain or healer link um, is just going to have a set next medevac and it's also going to have the heal which is going to be the uh, responsibility that, that gets uh, linked through the chain. And so it checks for the next healer and if there is one it'll tell it to heal. If you remember in the uh, actual implementation we override that and we put in our check uh, this is, is he currently healing? And if he's not currently healing, I will set that he is healing to true and we'll start the healing process. Um, now this has a little cool trick to it. He's just going to, you know, do that swoop where he goes from um, one to the next one. And then once he's done swooping, he'll actually uh, start doing that heal transition where that he starts tinting. Um, you can see that here. Uh, this is done with the tween max just color transform and tint and a tint amount. Um, and he's going to tween that up to the uh, health of 99 or dot 99 and once that's completely done we'll set the health to 1. We'll set his healing back to false. Um, we'll finalize the color transformation. And then if you look at the marine health setter so we'll hop over to the Marine, look at the health setter. Once he's fully healed, we'll dispatch a change event uh, 
generic change event. And you can see that anytime a Marine dispatches a change event, uh, which is fired here or handled here on Marine Healed, you'll see that we'll get the next hurt Marine from the Marines array and then pass it in back to the medevac chain. Um, so to look at the, the document class really quick, uh, you can play with this. I'll, I'll have the code up on GitHub and a link to it in a blog post. Um, it's basically just going to create the Marines, you know, Marines array, uh, create a bunch of, bunch of them, set a that event handler, um, push them into the array, um, lay them out in that grid, and then create the metavacs. You always have to have that first link in the chain, um, which will be, I just named it metavac chain, and then uh, the metavac, the current metavac is set to the metavac chain, set next is the new one that's created, then the current metavac switches to uh, the newly created metavac, then the set next, then current switches to the new one. I'm sure you've seen this in, in your own code uh, plenty of times before. Uh, and then once uh, the Marines are created and laid out and the medevacs are created, then we can jump into start healing, which just basically says uh, go through all the medevacs, uh, get hurt Marines for all of them to heal, and then pass them into the medevac chain, which uh, to review one last time, this is, you know, uh, three times is the charm for learning something, right? So uh, passing it into the medevac chain, once you go into heal, it's going to check if he's currently healing. And if he's not, he'll do the, the swoop tween. Uh, once he's done with that, he'll head on over to display heal transition, which is in the uh, super class of this which starts the actual color transformation. Then once that's done, it will set healing back to false. Say, I am ready to heal someone else. Set the marine health to one. Be setting the marine health to one. We'll dispatch the change event. And then we go right back on into on marine healed. Uh, so to watch that one more time. So we create all the marines. Uh, we lay them out in the grid, create all the medevacs, tell them to find the next hurt one. And then once it's completely green, so fully healed, we'll just watch the one on my cursor. Um, he will then move on to, he's moved over here, um, on to the next available hurt marine. And he'll uh, finish up his process and then move on to the next available hurt marine. So that's... Uh, it's the final video for the chain of responsibility, at least for now, so I hope that's uh, helped you understand it.